Hey, it's me, Trentology, and today I'm going to watch and talk about Captain America the First Avenger. <laughs> well, more like the worst Avenger, if you know what I mean. But, um, nah, this film is the first in a trilogy based off of the Marvel character of the same name, Steve Rogers, who's played by Chris Evans and is joined alongside Tommy Lee Jones as an old man, Hugo Weaving as a character he hates playing, Hayley Atwell as Britain, Sebastian Stan as Cap's BFF, Dominic Cooper as Iron Man's dad, and Neil McDonagh and Derek Luke as more of Cap's friends, alongside Stanley Tucci as a German accent. There are also a few other people in this film, however, they really don't matter. Now, the film begins in the Arctic in the present day, except, well, you know, 10 years ago. And I know it might seem a bit weird that I specify that, but then the film goes back in time and we get given an extremely cheesy World War II film. It follows a young wimp named Steam Ro Steam Rogers, Steve Rogers as he takes steroids to beat Hugo Red Skull and also took steroids and that's really it. I mean, you know, they both took steroids and this film's pretty much just used for establishing characters and to be fair, it does do a really good job of it, but there's no point in me exploring the plot further as all that really matters is Steven Rogers falls into some ice and is then found. Everything else is a flashback, you know, he realises he misses his date with the British lady and thinks everyone he knows is dead, and I said thinks for a reason. And that's it, you know, which is pretty good, so just go and watch it, it's on Disney+, Plus. it's on DVD, YouTube.com, you can, you can find it pretty much anywhere, and uh, yeah, I guess in terms of rankings I'd probably say, you know, it goes Iron Man 1, then 2, this, Hulk, and then 4. And yeah, my opinions change with time. I am only human, so yeah. I'll uh, see you back here again soon for Marvel's The Avengers, or Avengers Assemble as it's known out here. But um, before then, just to quickly state, in the Blu-ray and digital releases of both this film and 4, there were some short films called one-shots, uh, those being The Consultant and A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Thor's Hammer, respectively. So I guess just watch those before you watch The Avengers for continuity's sake, and uh, yeah, it's been me, Trentology, and I'll see you in 2022, unless I choose to make another video or food review. It's been me, bye.